So welcome to how to use your let's explain rush tools. Okay? So yeah, this is a re-upload of uh, this video, so I'm gonna be adding new things into it and a little bit of a re-edit to just make it look that much more uh, nicer. That's really convenient. Now, one of my biggest pet peeves, uh, you know, about this game video is definitely the card art. Why well, you gotta be so complicated? The card art for Yu-Gi-Oh! and the layout, not really the card art, but the layout. The layout for this game is absolutely atrocious, especially when it comes to the layout of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. It's atrocious. It's disgusting, man. Facts. I mean, there's no better way, there's no better way to say it. Oh, I'm sorry. I love the game, but the layout of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! is just, it leaves a lot to be desired. So in this video, I'm going to just basically cover three things. First of all, the layout of ca cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! The accessibility of Rush Tools, you know, how easy or difficult it is. And, you know, my overall conclusion. So first of all, let's begin by talking about the card layout. As I was saying, this is one of my biggest pet peeves. Now, why do I have such a disdain for the card layout? Because I feel this is one of the re big major reasons why Yu-Gi-Oh! is not a really big uh, card game, especially over over here in the Western Hemisphere, unlike in its original country and all across Asia, the Asian continent. Why is it that Yu-Gi-Oh! is not as big and Pokemon is just king over here? It's because of the layout. When you look at a Pokemon... Not even mad, just disappointed. Card, I'm telling you that layout presentation is king. How you present yourself, you know, can make the difference. And you definitely see this with Pokemon. Okay, so let's talk about um, the Pikachu that you see in front of you, right? Oh my god! Why is so okay, man? So then we'll go and zoom into it. Essentially, uh, Pikachu really, as we can see here, that layout is fantastic. You're so sexy! You know, nice and easy to read, very, um, you know, as we can say, soothing for the eyes. I can't deny that. It's just the truth at this point. A visual spectacle, and this is why we can expect uh, Pokemon to definitely be the uh, the number one card game in uh, the Western Hemisphere. Of the Perfect in every way. How about you look at a Shadowverse card? Here we have uh, the Shadow Shadowverse from the game Shadowverse, um, the card God of Curses. But first of all, let's look at this card and see it in front of you. I'm um, obviously, you know, it's it's really nice and appealing uh, to look at. Very simple. Um, not really much is going on it. Obviously, there's a lot of text, uh, quite similar to Yu-Gi-Oh. But again, I don't see any difference. Again, it's an example of when we look at the card and we look at the card artwork, we can see it's very appealing and nice to look at and it's not an overall visual mess. I would totally believe you if it was not for all these words. Uh, definitely, there's some points here that we can learn from uh, Shadowverse and uh, stuff like that. Okay, let's move on. Finally, let's end this off with a Cardfight Vanguard card. We have Cardfight Vanguard. We have a Vanguard card. And what is it that makes a Vanguard card different than the other cards. I can't look at it and not feel confused understanding it. For example, the word auto, there's some arrows, there's a shield there on the card itself to know that these are the cards are uh, defense points and it's just written down for there for you, easy to uh, really understand. This is one thing that I'm really liking about uh, Card by Vanguard is the card layout of it makes it easy uh, to understand and very self-explanatory and you don't need to explain a lot to someone who doesn't know card games at all i can't understand we can't do this okay you've seen all these cards as you have seen card layout is king having a really good card layout i feel is one of the uh, great steps of making your card game really accessible to newcomers just being pleasing to the eyes to look at can make a big difference I feel anyway. 
So definitely Yu-Gi-Oh, in my eyes, really did need, you know, going into the future, a whole new redesign. You just needed a way to just look, you know, more pleasing to the eye and not just this visual mess, not looking so nerdy, man. Like Yu-Gi-Oh has a reputation for looking nerdy, for looking like, oh my days, man, I'm doing some homework when I look at this card. This is homework, man. Like, what is this nonsense, dude? My poor heart, I can't take it. Anyway, yeah, so when you look at a Yu-Gi-Oh card, you know, you definitely get to see. Let me just change that here. Yeah. yeah, cool. So you definitely get to see that it's, it's not it's not pleasing to look at it's, it's not nice to look at at all it really isn't just presentation is king now that we've covered that and now that i've really you know broken that down let me showcase to you a Yu-Gi-Oh card and you see my biggest uh problems you have here so here's a Yu-Gi-Oh card can you explain what i'm looking at the more i look at it the more confused i get so we have small rooms on top of big clicks all over the place, and numbers are there for my amusement. Okay, now you've got to see a video card. Do you see exactly what I'm talking about? So we definitely need a new redesign. And so when you see the layout for Rush the Worlds, that was the one thing I absolutely loved. Now, I may not I have not liked Rush, uh, you know, Speed Duels ever since it's been translated from the App Store. Yes, it's a great game, but really, like, it's lost its way in one year. Who would have thought, right? It's lost its way. It's gotten complicated. The card layout is just basically insane. There's been no changes at all. That's a format that, yes, it's nice and slow, but just the presentation of the card hasn't, of Yu-Gi-Oh! hasn't really changed. So there's not been really a big significant boost here. But when you look at a Rush Duel card, oh my goodness, do we see strength to strength. Yeah, so let me showcase to you now a Rush Duel card. So here we have Seven Road Magician. So Seven Road Magician, we look at that artwork and it's absolutely fantastic. And in my opinion, this is where a Yu-Gi-Oh card is supposed to look compared to the previous version of how Yu-Gi-Oh cards look, I feel this is the way we should have Yu-Gi-Oh cards looking. Unfortunately, this artwork style is only exclusive to Rush Duels, which is such a shame as I feel it is a wasted opportunity where this is a sort of artwork that would have been good maybe as it's, uh, you know, being passed off, you know, to Yu-Gi-Oh, a, a nice rebranding, and maybe it could have even been an exclusive rarity, like a Rush Duel rarity, or something like that. There was def there's definitely something to be said about this artwork. Now, why do I like this artwork so much? First of all, it is nice and easy to read. It is visually appealing, and it's not a uh, eye cancer that the previous uh, card artwork has. You've seen it now? You see what I'm talking about? Look at that layout. As I told you before, presentation is king. Look at just how it is presented there. Look at how we don't have words, little words, you know, in little boxes. Look at how, like, the the card and, you know, the visual presentation of that card is just really nice and pleasing to your eye. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This, with this, we can go places. I can work with this as a Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei. You definitely, um, you know, getting people, you know, to join you -Oh! because it's with a layout like this that it looks more inviting and much less of a difficulty we need to play the game okay so i think i've covered everything there is about you know the card layout in rush Duels, and it gets definitely a thumbs up for me this is fantastic layout and this is how i feel a Yu-Gi-Oh card should be the layout part. fantastic you know triple stars gold star the highest rating ever now we'll get to accessibility. So let's talk about accessibility. Now, one of my other biggest pet peeves with you know Yu-Gi-Oh! this game is that it's really, really complicated for no reason. Or Facts. just it just gets com it's complicated for the sake of being complicated. Now, don't get me wrong, Yu-Gi-Oh! definitely has its charm as it's the only card game I know of that I play, I've played others, that you can basically do whatever you want. 
you know, within reason, obviously, but you can do, you are free. The world is your oyster. You know, if you have a crazy idea, you can do it. You know, you're not defined. Money does not define your deck. So you don't have to play the best cards or the best deck. If you have an idea, no matter how crazy, no matter how silly it is, you know, go for it. One of the best feelings I think you get in Yu-Gi-Oh! and you don't get it in any other card game, really, not that I know of anyway, that is you can just go make a deck you've just started the game you can go make a deck face off an expert you know and they can look at your deck and play against you and be like what the hell are you doing and why is it working that to me is the best feeling you get when you play new year it's not about like you know beating the, someone who's been playing the game like you know for 10 plus years it's that's not reality in the real world you will lose and fall into despair like going out there with a crazy idea with something no one else understands and you're just making people say like what are you doing like it doesn't make any sense like how are you doing this mate but it, it's working your crazy idea that you have that you thought of works that's the best feeling having the ideas that you have work and that any that any idea is a good idea that is i feel what Yu-Gi-Oh promotes really and that is his, is its greatest strength unfortunately that is also its weakness because any idea is a good idea anything goes and that in itself brings about problems and brings about its complexity and i feel definitely that you know Yu-Gi-Oh needs to get a little bit simpler because it is very intimidating to bring in new blood when you know things are really really complicated why well, you gotta be so complicated it's it's not easy and that's also why i feel like pokemon is really growing here let me just adjust things you know there yeah that's why i really feel that pokemon you know is growing and other card games have a bigger i would say um you know market and you know we have a very uh our community is not really growing so much you know because it's difficult you know and because it's difficult we have a very toxic community I, I ain't gonna lie you know it is what it is now maybe we are growing you know yeah slowly and i think but definitely we, we need a change we need a way to go into the future so having making it easy making it accessible for new players and everyone else is a step in the right direction and that's what uh you know speed was supposed to do in 2019 but unfortunately speed Duel is basically just a slower version of the main game it didn't really change anything they just we didn't have the, they didn't have the power cards that the main game had so it was just basically just you know a poor man's version of new game let's let's not kid ourselves that's really what it is but now with rush duels it's a completely new format completely new uh you know game and it's the card layout is fantastic and it's easy to get into. This is one of the things and one of the strengths I really like about Rush Duels. It's not complicated. I can explain to you the game, you know, in five minutes, possibly two, you know, and we're not, uh, and you know, you're not like, oh my days, you know, I've got to know this, I've got to know, I've got to know an effect monster, this, that, and the other, I've got to know about these different types of effects, I've got to know about that, and the other. No, 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 no. This is one of the biggest problems Yu-Gi-Oh has, when, especially me as uh, a person who wants to introduce people to this game, like, it's very difficult to try to say I can ex to explain Yu-Gi-Oh in five minutes or less. It's not that easy. And even if, uh, you know, you explain you in five minutes or less, a lot of things will be lacking. It's not informative. It's, I would say it's a big lie, you know, if you explain you in, you know, in five minutes, you know, or less, because there's a lot, lots of things to be considered. And it's not really the expansive or, you know, the correct way, I would say, of saying that, you know, here's five minutes. Okay, I'll tell you everything that there is about Yu-Gi-Oh everything and you're, go you're gonna move the game like like this like no like Yu Gi Oh isn't like that you're not going to learn it from an explanation in five minutes you're gonna need much more than that you're gonna need practice you're gonna need application you're gonna need techniques skills and possibly other avenues to learn this game it's not like that so definitely this is another uh, one of my pet peeves that rush Duel does address which is accessibility it is accessible, everyone can understand it, we're all on the same page. 
I definitely want this to continue. I would like... I'm really liking what I'm seeing from Rush Duels, definitely from seeing the anime and just seeing... and also playing, you know, an online simulator with Rush Duels, with Rush Duel rules and with the Rush Duel cards. It's really fun, very simple, very easy, very exhilarating, and it's just a game that's just nice and fun to play, and it doesn't feel... it doesn't feel, you know, difficult. I like it. This definitely gets a, a thumbs up seals of approval from me. I like it. This is the right direction and this is where Yu-Gi-Oh! needs to go. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.